Okay, in this lecture we're going to create a couple of formulas to calculate our quantity times our costs and create a total over in this column D. And then we're going to add all of those totals into a grand total down here at the bottom. So, to create our formula, the first thing you always do is start with an equal sign. And in this case, we are multiplying the quantity times the cost. So we have 24 cabinet handles times $5 each. So we can just click in this cell, and that will enter B3 into our formula. And then we can click Shift and the 8 key, which is the asterisk, which is the time symbol for multiplication. Then we click in our other cell, which is the cell that we want to multiply it by, which is C3, and then we click Enter. And if I click on this cell, you can see up in our formula bar, it shows our formula equals B3 times C3. So B3 times C3 equals that. So that's how you enter a formula to do your calculation. I want to quickly show you how to use a function to do the same thing. So I'm going to delete this formula, and I'm going to start again with my equal sign. And you can see over here next to the formula bar, it actually has suggested functions. And right at the top here, it has the product. So I could just click on that, and it will enter product, which is the function for multiplication. Or I can also start typing product in here, and it will suggest it, and then I can click on that. Then it starts with our bracket. So we're going to go ahead and click on our cells again. And you'll see that automatically highlights it and enters it into our function. So there are a couple of ways that we can enter the range of numbers that we're trying to multiply. You can click here, comma, and then click on the next one that you want to include in the formula. And then hit enter. And it will show our correct answer. And you'll see it says product of B3 and when you have a comma, it essentially means and. So B3 and C3. So that's B3 and C3. Or we can go product. And you can click on this cell and then drag over to this one. And it will say product of B3. And the semicolon means through C3. But we click Enter. And again, there we have our formula and our correct answer. Now, here's an awesome trick, which is one of the many magical things about Excel. We've entered our formula into this cell, but we basically need to do the same formula for all of these lines. And imagine if we had hundreds or thousands of items in this list. How tedious that would be to go here and enter that same formula in over and over and over. To save ourselves all of that trouble, we can just take our cursor here and hover over this little box down in the right hand corner of our cell and notice how the cursor changed to a skinny cross now. Now I left click on that and I'm going to drag this box all the way down to the bottom of my list and I'm going to release it and it has copied that formula all the way down. So you, And you can double check all the math. 1 times 500 is 500. 4 times 30 is 120. 1 times 800 is 800. 4 times $6 is $2,400. And if you click in each cell, you'll see this one is how I put it in, equals product of B3 through C3. But notice as I go down, now it says product of B4 through C4 and B5 through C5. Excel understands that we want the formula on this line to reflect the costs or the numbers in these cells. And so it automatically changes the numbers to make them relevant to that line. So that's pretty awesome and very quick and easy way to add that up. Now we're going to create a grand total at the bottom. So I'm going to click total here and tab to get to the next cell. And now we want to add all of these numbers here. And as you recall from before, we can go and use the auto sum which just simply adds up all of these selected cells. Or we can simply enter our formula in here, select it from here, or type it in manually, SUM, click on it, and select the cells we want to add together. And notice that I don't enter the final bracket. I could actually go Shift and 
parentheses and then hit enter but Excel will automatically do that when you've highlighted them by hand with the mouse so anyway you can hit enter and that shows your total and you can double check your formula to make sure that it's right or rather I should say double check your function because this sum is actually a function which is basically just a pre-formatted formula so it says equals sum of d3 through d10 so d3 through d10 and that's perfect now I put this down here just because it seemed nice to have a little bit of space between these but we can do some formatting to make this total stand out a little bit later and if we don't want this extra space you can just left click on that row there and then right click and delete and it'll shift our row right up. So that's how you create a multiplication formula to multiply your quantity times your costs and also how to create an addition formula or a sum formula to add a column of numbers to get a grand total.